was in the ballroom, but Regency society was on its very best behavior. Everything was regulated according to the strictest code of good breeding, and any departure from this code became a grave offense. Oh, dear, this is me out on my ear. <laughs> Happily, Liz Bartlett over there, who's the teacher of the Jane Austen group of dancers, is going to give me a few handy hints. Um, Liz, now, you're the, uh, you're the teacher, aren't you, the Jane Austen? Yes, yes, so you know all about this. I just need a few handy hints to get me through this ball. So the first thing you need to learn to do is to curtsy. I curtsy. And at this time, it's just a slight, a slight bobbing motion okay. and keeping your eyes cast oh, down. Eyes cast down. Marvellous. So that's my, that's my greeting. And basically, uh, I'm here because I want to pull my um, Yes, balls were the social occasion um, where you could dance with as many people as you possibly could um, so that you could hopefully find yourself a marriage partner. Speed dating. Yes. Um, this is not a price tag on my arm here. This is my dance card. What do I do with this? Um, well, hopefully we'll get you introduced to some gentlemen if you don't already know them. Um, and you would stand up to the gentleman for two dances, and then you would need to move on to the next gentleman. And how do I write it down? Do and um, the men normally carry the pencil. Yes. And it would be their responsibility to come back and collect you at the correct time. Otherwise, unfortunately, you'd have to sit out of the dancing. Oh, no, we don't want to be a wallflower, do we? Now, how do, I, um, how do I go about meeting that? Well, you would need to be introduced, so either by the, the host or by mutual friends. Um, and I can introduce you to someone, hopefully. I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. There's someone I would really love you to meet, um, Sir Jag. Do allow me to introduce you to Lady Linda. Lady Linda is an excellent dancer. Well, Lady Linda, if you're not engaged to the next set of dancers, would you do me the great honour of stepping up with me? That's the tag. Let me just look in my book. No, strangely, I'm free. <laughs> so, Jag would need to escort you to the top of the set. The top of the set was re reserved for the most important people right. in the room, which is obviously yourselves today. Um, and we're going to dance a dance called Tipu Saab. Okay. And Jag will um, help you through it, and I will too. Fine. The first thing we need to do is to honour your partner. So you're going to do your curtsy. And you're going to set to your right, and left, and forward, look at your partner, and back. And then do a star with the people next to you, all the way around. Do I talk? You can talk or smile, or when I'm off. And this bit, you're leaving down the set, really to show off your dress to people, and also hopefully to spot other men that you might like to dance with later, if you can be introduced. And this is the closest you would get during the Regency period. Right. And you could whisper sweet nothings into each other's ears. Right. If you weren't concentrating so hard on your dancing. Right. Right. And at the end of the dance, you would need to curtsy or bow. How much? And your partner would really need to escort you back to your chaperones to make sure you got back to them um, okay. safely. Preferably off the, off, the, off the property, I should think you might get. Hello, thank you so much. Goodbye. And then, and then we'd, right, then we're back. And then you would need to do your bow oh, and curtsy how again. How lovely. And then how would I know if I'd pull? Well, hopefully he would ask you for a, a second dance, which you would be wise to accept, but um, no more than two, otherwise the matchmaking mamas would be talking about you in the background. Oh, really? Anything. So two, is that it? Yes. And what about if I didn't like you? Um, if you didn't like him, well, you should probably still dance with him anyway, because unless you could f find a very good excuse, you would really need to sit out the rest of the evening. So, better to dance with him, even if he steps on your toes or is a terrible dancer or, or has a little <laughs> conversation. Oh, right. Um, just a memory. So, so, basically then, if, if you were kind of wildly, passionately, uh, you know, wanting to meet, there's no other way now I can, I can let him know that except through a whisper in his ear on the next dance. Because, I mean, I well, might... You couldn't whisper, you know, I, that I want to meet you again. You could just try and make it a little bit obvious, but you always had to show restraint um, to show that you were chaste. Because that's the only forward. chance, I guess, isn't it, to, for any physical bodily contact, was it the bit where we went round the... Yeah, so, so you would hopefully have practiced your dancing so that your dancing would show how elegant you were and that he would want to dance with you again and, and hopefully marry you at the end of the day. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. I shall see how I get on. <laughs> well, Lady Linda, that was a wonderful dance. Um, if possible, could you pencil me in for another dance later in the ball? Oh, Sir Jag, I, I'd better look at my card. <laughs> yes, I, I think I can just squeeze you in. Thank you very much. I shall squeeze you. Uh, uh, a tout à l'heure. Uh, French. Oh.
<laughs> I told you. Yeah. Well, I've got to say, it's all very interesting, but apart from the dancing, I suspect it also helps if you're a little trimmer, thicker. Um, yes, but you would be dancing so often, having lessons and so on, that you would sort of be fit um, when, you, when you were younger, younger, yes. a younger married lady. Now, one dessert that would definitely not have been on the menu is ice cream. Ed Baines has been to visit a local farmer who had a bit of a brainwave in the 80s and has never looked back. <laughs>